One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. Last webinar of 2020. Thank you, Jesus, uh, for not, not for being the last webinar, but for the end of 2020. Um, because hopefully <laughs> this is to in a, you know, a better year next year. Um, 2020 has been a great year for trading, but it's been pretty wild for everything else. And so I have not prepared much for today. So um, I, I want to talk about the phenomenon to kind of pick up where we left off last week uh, or two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Uh, where we talked about the Santa Claus rally and and how things were going to look in these last two weeks of the month. Is it a real thing? Um, is there some kind of statistical edge behind that? Is it true? Um, so the next little phenomena that everyone talks about is what? Y'all tell me. What tends to be the 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 thing in January that everybody always talks about is is a thing. No, not the Martin Luther K rally, not the president. What is the market tendency in January? Okay, yes, the January effect, which is called what? What is the January effect? Uh exactly. Tax loss selling. Tax loss selling. So it is a prediction that uh, and it has been, you know, showed many, many times that you get tax loss selling in the beginning of the year. But when does that happen? So in these times, like today in the market, okay, so let's do a little bit of market recap here. Talk about where we're at. Sorry, <clears throat> running out of breath already. Uh, 3,700 has been become a pretty key level here in the SPX. Um, and then below that, you've got 3650 and then this 3600 or 3588 level um, in, in these times here. So today, you know, looks pretty rough. Today looks pretty rough, <laughs> which makes me want to short. To be honest with you, this makes me want to short. And so before I ever short the market, I like to do a bit of research on, um, on yeah, exactly, Oren, yeah. When you feel like you need to short the market, don't. And when you feel like you need to buy it, buy it. Seasonality in the markets is very much a thing, okay? We explained that. Uh, two weeks ago in the Santa Claus rally webinar where I showed you guys what the percentage returns are for the market on average for the last two weeks of uh, December, okay? Which started uh, here, <clears throat> which started over here. I believe this was the uh the day when everything when we started making those calculations uh i can't remember exactly but i think it was this day here um <clears throat> and here we are so here we are it looked pretty rough on this day right here but man what a rally off of those lows i mean that's a pretty nasty wick uh if you're somebody that's you know sitting through that on the long side you're like whoa and then boop, 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 and then you know buy the dip bro buy the dip buy the dip and i mean it's a it's a very bullish candle on the daily chart for that particular day but the disadvantages are and the things i don't like are these giant freaking gaps man and i'll say it again i'd say it 40 times i hate the gaps i hate the gaps because it brings in unnecessary volatility for me. You have, and I'm just gonna, I'll just tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine down months and nine up months. So it is a 50 50 on what happens in the market during January, the entire month of January. Some years, like 2019, 
what? Oh, ambulance. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> during some years, like 2019 and 2018, we had huge rallies in this time. If you remember 2018, 2018, the market was just going bonkers. Okay. And then shortly after that, if you run this data from 2018, if you run this data and you span it out to February to include the end of January to the middle of February, you're going to get a massive correction in your data. So it's just slightly delayed on the uh, occurrence of, let's say, a correction, okay? Because <clears throat> if you look at this, here was that period in time. So in January, just the biggest rally in probably a single month in a very long time, historically, very long time. <laughs> and then a massive correction, okay? Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. There is this episode in Family Guy that... Um... It's like one of the first seasons, but um, it basically compares hookers to, you know, it's like the, the family, like Peter and Lois walk into this hotel room and there's a hooker laying on the bed and, and Lois is like, oh my God, Peter, what is that? There's someone in here. And Peter's like, wait, just be really still. They only see movement and they like stop. And then the hooker's like, hey, where'd they go? That is what a day trader is like. Okay, we have to find something new every day. And if there's not something new on our radar, the market's slow, the market sucks dick. Uh, we hate looking at this, this is so boring. If there's not a new stock every day, it's useless, okay? That is kind of the, the crippling factor of small cap trading is if there is nothing moving, Okay, if there is nothing moving, you're just dead in the water. You got nothing. You got nothing. Okay, you can't long shit. You can't short anything because nothing moves. Okay, big caps is where you can swing trade, trend trade, do all those extra little things. Okay, every single day, if I'm picking the same stocks, like if I, if I, if this were me, this is, this would be how I would start things in, in kind of picking like a basket. I would start with the main tech stocks. All right. I would not pick shit like Tesla, which is super hard to trade as a new trader, not for, not for beginners. Okay. Not even for intermediates, to be honest with you. Tesla is an advanced stock, um, not for the faint hearted. Okay. I would choose some shit like SQ, uh, why, why would I not trade Tesla? Why would I not do that as a beginner? Um, because of the range and the volatility, two things that are great reward. Okay. But also the greatest risk you need to find something that gives you that consistency. Okay. Consistency is not striking it rich on longing Tesla back at 400 and then it runs to 700, okay? That's not consistency. Consistency as a day trader is walking into something and being able to trade it easily. You know, that, that's, why, um, that's why, you know, you'll see people trade uh, Facebook, you'll see people trade SQ, AMD, MU, all of these <clears throat> super tight spreads with a lot of liquidity, um, you're going to be trading that kind of stuff. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> what I did in this trade in XTTF was I was, I had a, I had an IB account in this time frame, And what I would do is I would wake up every morning, every single morning in this entire move. And I'd put a 250 share short order in right at the market open with a really low, uh, limit order because with ib what happens with the shares to short is whenever new shares 
to short come available, it will fill whoever is in the order bank first. And so if you just have a short order sitting out there way below the bid, um, you're going to steal those shares from anybody that covers. And so I had done research on NXTTF. I knew they were a pile of shit. You know, they were the typical OTC pump and dump. And so I just scaled the fuck out of it and swung it short. Um, not something I would do a lot of, uh, not, not what I wouldn't recommend that to a lot of people. Uh, at this time in my trading, I had the capital to do it. <clears throat> but um, I would just, every day I'd open up and I'd put a 250 share short order and I just started scaling it into this big parabolic <clears throat> move. And um, yeah, so um, do I no longer look at gappers pre-market and you just trade a basket of the same names? I now just do that. Yeah, I now, now I just trade the ba a basket of the same stocks that I look at every day. And then, um, and then I have like other ones that I know are very common that I just kind of have as a side watch list. But, but in order to find this basket of stocks that I like to trade, I started trading the gappers every day. So I would still, if I were a new trader coming into large caps, trying to find, get my feet wet, figure out what I want to do, um, what stocks I wanted to watch because the stocks that you watch are not going to be the same ones that I watch. Um, I would look at the gappers every single morning, just like the videos say, and I would just start to remember the, the stocks that traded my lines really well. Like I remember I would always trade Lyft and work and Uber and uh, I wouldn't trade Uber that much, to be honest with you. I fucking hate trading Uber. It never works for me. Um, <clears throat> so Lyft, work, uh, Roku, Netflix, like I watched those stocks like every day because I just remembered the stocks that worked for me and they had really good liquidity and really good range. And so I just like kind of wrote them down and I just ended up building this little basket of stocks that I watch every day now. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.